Yes! Both annex at the same time. Now I just have to buy provinces from Denmark. You will do that. So don't worry about it. So, 355 ruler, Mr. Bond, Eric Bond. Uh, we've got uh, four vassals, three, sorry. The Isles, and they're gonna take the other provinces in Ireland. We have Karelia, which is Giga, and all over here, and we have Geldon. Karelia and Geldon are already being annexed. Geldon is gonna be finished in six years, Karelia as well in six years. We have Golden Era for the next, I believe, 40 years. Yeah, more. Oh, almost 50 years. Uh, we've got uh, free inequality, but very soon we're gonna unlock also economic ideas. That's why I'm playing very high on the vassals, because saving admin mana. I need free trade ships for the mission that gives me uh, this here colonial ambitions. Free trade ships in uh, Argensus. Uh, does it need? Does it need to be in my hands? Yeah. When I get the uh, colonizer. So we get there. Uh, do we need the tech? Yeah, in case I'm gonna save for tech. We need to keep repaying the loans uh, as there will be no rebels coming. Let's turn this off. We need to repay loans because otherwise Denmark cannot sell me the provinces. The mod, uh, here it goes, it's our MP mod. Uh, I can't split Iceland because I have too many loans and he cannot sell me land. Let's get these guys to the other transport ships here. No, why would Denmark death be in my interest? He's gonna colonize, get all of the value to, from the new world here. He's gonna send me money. And I have a loyal ally that helped me kill England. We killed England together. At the same time, I already have 51 provinces. Uh, we've got another 10 in the Isles. We've got another 16 in Karelia. And then we've got another 12 in Geldon. Plus this few to conquer, this few to conquer. I'm already gonna have 40 more provinces than in the grandest land in my Great Britain campaign. And I would like to remind you, I was a first great power in most of this campaign. Oh, no, no, no. I have very high value promises. Don't worry about that. I was supposed actually to. Uh, because I need this. Uh, which one was giving me this? A lot of system is one thing, but which mission was giving me the cheaper death cost on forest? You guys remember that? Forest expansion, yes. I need to change cultures in these promises. Because this culture is Sami. I could only just accept it. I don't have slots, I have better cultures to deal with. And changing these cultures cost me like how much? Yeah, let's do it already actually. Change it uh, to Swedish. Change this to Swedish. These are non developed provinces. Uh, change it to Swedish. And this is also Sami. Change it to uh, Finnish. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can. And I cannot form Scandinavia until tech 15, pretty much, in this case, in MP case. Uh, so, tech 15, I can always ask Denmark to give me this, like, six promises that I will be missing to do so. So, that won't be a problem. Another loan to be repaid. 14 to go. So, I could already click the mission for the colonist, uh, but I need Denmark to sell me Iceland first. He cannot sell me Iceland because my debt is higher than two years of my income. Uh, my allies, uh, it's Denmark, Poland, Lithuania. Uh, Lithuania is in a tough spot. Spain declared on the Ottomans. What the hell? <laughs> you see this? Government reform. Tier 3. What do you have here? So we have uh, Central Asian State refund 50% of its costs, monthly autonomy change, culture conversion costs. This is quite, kind of nice. Absolute speed from how you blessing. Because if you remind ourselves. Oh! Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And then we have this, which is max for cultures, also very useful, minimum autonomy cultures. State equilibrium is fine for cancelling privileges. Autonomy is not that useful uh, in... Oh, don't, don't click it. Reform progress is something that's gonna be always useful. Then... Uh, this is in lands... Okay. Cheaper advisor versus culture. Uh, this I don't like. And diplomatic relations and vassal smashes give tax modifier, but I'm gonna annex all my vassals soon. So let me go for reform progress. There it goes. Right, the stay uh, truce, 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 England, October. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna separate business from money. There are no force here, so just give me occupation. I piss out for money. Oh, I can take this as well. 
Oh, yes! Annexation cost, please. Now I have the strong dashes. Remember, guys, that I have... I, I, I'm actually gonna take this already. Cheaper annexation cost, and I'm gonna get the diplomatic reputation penalty for annexing these boys. Okay, these guys are down. Let's give everything to Isles. It's time to bar... I've come to bargain. So, you know, there's small things that change, you know, like, I've come to bargain instead of, like, request peace. Okay, that's gonna be... Oh, 300 dockets! Let's go! He's gonna reoccupy it immediately because he just kept his troops there. How close are we to be a great power? Close? I mean, if I make these two vassals, it should be fine. We killed England in last session. Yes! Both annex at the same time. Now I just have to buy provinces from Denmark. You will do that. So don't worry about it. I absolutely love these borders. Is everything stated? No, it's not. Let's make sure to state everything. And after the month tick, decrease the autonomy. We got a scale, guys. We got a scale. And we pay another loan. And we are great power number seven. Hanarbimana, yes. Oh, no, no. oh my god, that was such a misplay, guys. I should have waited. <laughs> or spent Hanarbimana on cost. <laughs> well, that was like how many points I wasted? 30. We from Britain now. I would like to form Scandinavia. Okay, let's take this. That's 640 points. And I'll unlock. We could go Echo. That's of course 5% discipline with quality that we have. Could go innovative. That's of course 15% infantry combat ability. Now let me show a comparison. Because we have prestige decay, innovativeness gain, tech cost, uh, more advisor. This is useless in this mod. Institution spreads, more, more exhaustions, free policies, plus one. Which actually could be pretty nice of our, because Sweden has possible policies plus one. And then there's advisor cost 25%. Economic, on the other hand, is tax meta, construction cost, this is extremely helpful, in inflation impact, interest prime is super helpful for wars, uh, land maintenance, production efficiency, of course, 10% death cost. I will go for economic anyway, guys. Yes, uh, Denmark is gonna sell me that. Just keep in mind, he couldn't because I had too many loans. And he's going to the new world. Oh! Do you see this? Denmark is right now a holy Roman Emperor. I could... Retake the one person loans, and that would make me probably know I would be not having any more loans. Look, one, two, three, four. Or well, maybe I'll be left with like one loan. Uh, I'll be. I don't think I'll be left with any four person loans though. So this repay the four person loans. Ah, yeah, I just 100 ducats and I'll be uh, only at 1% loans. So interest is just 1.9 now. Oh, I'm not gonna sell more crown lands. We need to get it to 50 now. I will be doing that for Deving very quickly uh, to get the reform progress. Oh, yeah, I, I started typing to him and he initially sent me the request. Yes, we are fixing the borders, guys. Let me send these guys to get the colonist. Colonial ambitions, yes. Let's go. That gives me a colonist. Go asset least increase. Uh, colonial range and 30 uh, tradition. Explorer. Here does to not... I don't want to send any troops to New World. Just take this. I'll take this boy. Explore. Let's go. Another one! This cost me 22 points to core. Why don't you go Orthodox? Because I plan going uh, Protestant. And, you know, Orthodox is not that strong anymore compared to the other religions. I mean, still one of the strongest is not the strongest for MP, but it's not that big of a difference. Especially with the new update. Plus, Orthodox is nerfed in the mod. A lot. Seeing the real you! What's that? Ooh. Thing is, 4 to 5 is good. Let me take 4 to 5. Carl Bond. Oh, what? What? 
it? Did my ruler just immediately died after this? <laughs> Why? I've lost my explorer! I've lost my explorer just after like how many years? Three? Oh my god. <laughs> how unlucky you have to be to just lose your explorer that quick. Okay, let's give him maps. And we need to release something small. Oh, first maybe I click the mission. Ah, it's the Sami, so that's in one second. And we just release something here. Below zero. Uh, I think below zero is gonna be good, just let me double check. Uh, below zero. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to give below zero, you know, any points that they already caught. So release below zero. I'm gonna be saving admin mana because I'm in the middle of filling uh, Equideus. I'm gonna give, me all, give him all of the provinces around here. And force the region. It's fine. And then this on the north I'm gonna core myself. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, Tolzok as well. Core this. Here I need trade efficiency guy. Insults I don't need it. This might be useful. Autonomy change. What happened with not going colonial, Zulevik? You said to me you're not going colonial! This just here. <laughs> yes, I'm not going colonial. It's for Denmark. Uh, that was a new word native that messaged me, uh, you know, guys? That's why he's uh, kinda angry. Uh, okay, integrate the sub means local autonomy in all of the provinces and local manpower. And also I'm unlocking forest expansion for the burgers. Uh, that's. Reduce development costs of every own forest by 15% and every woods by 10%. Right, so <laughs> I have one big forest. <laughs> Remember, forest is giving how much they've cost? Uh, 50 to plus 20, so I'm gonna get just plus 5. Okay, and in the woods, it's plus 15, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna also end up with just plus 5. Oh, no, 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 that Devin the Last Hogan is the biggest uh, bait in history of you 4 you know why? Because the bonus uh, that you're having from uh, the copper mine, it's a flat bonus. So it has zero impact if you dev it or not. So if you dev, you dev a province, let's say another province that is having a good trade gun and it's a copper, that is just cheaper to dev. Sometimes it's worth to dev the last coin, but dev the last coin because it's a copper mine, you know, the Fallon copper mine, it's a bait. You dev it, yes, for copper, but not because it has this bonus, because this is flat. Oh, it's actually a new Lithuanian player, the previous one resigned. So I have no promises towards him, but look, he allied all of his neighbors. Richly, he's... Because Bilizir is mine, Perm is called Nord. He's allied to every single neighbor except Hungary. We're gonna fight. Oh, he's not alone. Ah, oh, no longer allied to Poland. What is this Polish alliances box? I don't like it. He's also allied to me. Can I start annexing the Isles? Is this loyal? Three of that? How many? No, no, no. It's not worth it. I'd rather death one of your provinces. They are all expensive. Stop diverting the trade. How much of ink I'm gonna lose? 18.15. No, uh, oh, no, two ducats. So, yeah, yeah, it's. Is it actually worth it to pay off his debt? Let's calculate it. So I'm, I've lost 1.7 income. Okay. 1.7. And then we have how many years to annex him? 10 years. So we have 120 months. X and 20. 200 ducats. So it's worth it. I'm gonna lose 200 ducats probably more because the trade value will be increasing. Uh, so repaying his debt for 100 ducats. It's worth it. Let's do that and divert it. My gameplay is to scale. I have 87 provinces already. Plus, I'm annexing to one vassal here. And I'm gonna annex another vassal here. So I'm gonna end up with like 110 provinces. Right? 87. Oh, yeah, even more. That's 93, 103, 113. 
That's 40 more than I had on the grandest lap when I was top 1 power. That's pretty bit. And remember, we've got the expansion of the forest, minus 15% death cost for all of the forests, so it's just plus 5 after all. And for uh, this is plus 15, here's minus 10, so it's only, only also plus 5. That's for the mission tree of Sweden. Let's go for the combat in case of war. I almost have everything. And let's see other missions. Can we take anything else? Here we need 300 more development. Here they need to trade alone. Here we need more factories. I need to develop here. This is not gonna happen anytime soon. Not this is. This is another colonies I could get. That's I'm planning to. For this I need higher religious unit and my ruler has to be. Not in the age of discovery, right? I just one of the following must be true. So it's, uh, just go out of Age of Discovery and, and get this mission easily. I just need to hire a fire religious unity, which is uh, pretty much pretty done. This is the development one. You need more trust with Poland. Let's boost trust for favors. Uh, what else I have to do here? Like marriage, uh, yeah, and relations. For need this, I need Moskva. For this, uh, doesn't matter. For this, it doesn't matter. For this, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh yes, that's the last loan, at last. The cheaper advisor for imp uh, reducing inflation. This guy, I'm gonna take him when I get more money. Also, production efficiency for whole country, whole country should be trying global ex uh, growth of the prosperity and to stay bonuses. For this, I need 1.5 thousand ducats to improve the last Kogan. And first, I need to develop it up to 10 and have a canting house there. With Force Scandinavia, there is a different form of this mod. I'll prob I, will I hope to form Scandinavia. That's probably the best uh, response. Kugan England? Well, <laughs> first of all, England misplayed and when it got killed by me in Denmark. Meaning that England decided that it's a good idea to show strength on Scotland. So then Scotland died to EI Norway. I attacked AI Norway, took these promises from them and attacked uh, England. Uh, that's how the new world is looking. What other ideas are Georgian Pine have? Uh, Georgian Pine has very nice ideas. It's uh, from Mabel in the mod. So, so far, his infantry command ability 20%, the fort defense, on territory dice roll bonus, diplomats, improved relations, trans of the true faith, trans heavens, and there's more good in the other part of them ideas. Oh no! I got longer great power. Go sound of reform. Tier 4, we have uh, Papal, relations, Perma. Papa influence yearly, Korea treasury, that doesn't matter. Papa influence from cardinals. How many cardinals do I have? Not many. Then this is seizing land from clergy that's to get religious, that doesn't matter. And admin tech cost. Temple Sun Cathedral gives 33% tax and local address, administrative tech cost. And this. Oh, this is a loyalty. Let me just go for the temples meta. I have a few temples, I think, right? 16.15. 16.65. I should be able to click the Polish mission now. Yeah, there it goes. So this mission gives me uh, 100 Diplo points, 400 Splendor, and we are setting each other. Why don't I... Because 400 Splendor is going to be useful in the next age. Right? I don't need it in Age of Discovery anymore, right? I need it more for Age of uh, Reformation, so I'm going to keep it for them. Yeah. Just need to keep the good relations. I just get the tech to keep the innovativeness. I'm also waiting for Protestant to switch to it immediately. Changing to Protestant right away, and we've got the Stockholm Center of Reformation. Time to convert everything. That was that I had to quickly, quickly because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be the only one. Now we need to convert everything quick. I should be converting the last Kogan as well. Catholic is giving good press modifier negative. In what situations do you use TC? Uh, so, if you add promises to a TC, they are increasing good promise modifier in the whole node for promises that are not part of the trade companies. So what I did in my Sian campaign when I owned a big chunk of India, I added a couple of provinces uh, in uh, Coromandel, a couple in Deccan, a couple on Bengal, and each of these nodes I had between 50% and 100% of goods per modifier modifiers, which is extremely broken and crazy. And that was the, the, the difference in my income was if I stated this versus I made it a trade company was around 600 ducats. 
that's a just good. You don't, you know, TC everything, but you just choose some stage to do so. Uh, uh, especially that's uh, when you have a lot of provinces uh, and you need more money than the force limit, or the, the amount of the money that you get from it is more important than the force in manpower you get this from these provinces. It can be, for example, war from the provinces where you have extremely, like, expensive to develop, like deserts. Right, you just get all of the bonuses then from the trade company and it's actually worth it. This happened in China. Well, we have five playable nations, so right now we have C4, we have Shun, Qi, Wu and Yue. And this a uh, war. Siam is farting Shun, Korea is very fine. I, I, I can't show you because I'm a nation, my own nation. But there's definitely a war again around uh, China. That's actually hurting us. It's not a joke, a uh, disaster. This disaster hurts! Five minutes later. This disaster hurts! I need to get rid of it. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's just finish the duck war. I, I, I don't have time for this. Yes. Well, there is annexed. And we just cancelled... Uh, the two privileges. Okay, these borders are now great. And we are actually close to big rich power, but no. And autonomy drop. Oh yeah. Both from the Isles and from here. And we end in January. Let's see maximum power, 84,000, 68 income, 80 of force limit. And we're ending now. Okay. <laughs> Popping the limit. That's for the worry. It's a problem with um, most rive with Sweden, and I suspect the causes are Swedish. First, most provinces. Slavic, you have no place to expand. You are like everyone, you have first most provinces. 16 highest income hurts me more. 